Hello everyone, Sunday, November 10th, 2019. Of course, Wednesday was New Comic Book Day. And as it seems to be the pattern, another giant week for books. It just seems like more and more titles are coming out. So it's bigger and bigger on the wallet. So we are going to jump right into the uh, books for the week. The first book we picked up, we'll do DC first. Batman number 82. Here's this here. And then going with the gimmicky style 90s comic books. It was more of these little fancy little covers. I picked up a couple uh, different titles that had these just because they were kind of neat looking. Uh, but again, really not necessary to do that if the story is good. So there was book number one. Book number two is going to be... I'm going to get this out. Harley Quinn number 67. Again, with the little plastic cover here with it. Again, kind of cool looking. Uh, and it was a $3.99 price point, so it's a regular price book for that, and you put a little extra cover on there, so uh, just kind of a cool little thing, even though it's very gimmicky if you remember a lot of things from the 90s with the holograms and the special covers. Next book we're going to do, B cover, Batman 82. Lois Lane number 5, A cover. Lois Lane, number five, B cover. And the final book for DC that I picked up is King Shazam, number one. Right there, cool cover. So we picked that one up there. Looking forward to reading this storyline, if they can come up with a good one for that. And that was it as it related to DC, so we will jump right into the Marvel. Really cool book this week, Marvel number one, of course, is the Double Trouble uh, storyline, Spider-Man and Venom. This was one cover here. The second cover I picked up. And then my favorite cover, right there, really cool. Haven't had a chance to read that yet, but I am looking forward to that as well. Uh, X-Force uh, X Force came out uh, with a new storyline as well as the New Mutants. And there was a connecting cover they came out with. So this is the connecting cover here, if I can figure it out. Kind of goes like this. X-Force number one, New Mutants number one. Sorry if you can't see that that well, but... You get the idea. And these sold really, really well. Uh, there's a couple of other covers here. This is a New Mutants number one variant here. I picked these up because they were number ones. And we'll see if the storyline goes anywhere. And here is a different cover for New Mutants number one here. Again, uh, sold really, really well. Uh, a lot of them are going off the shelves, but I think stores ordered a lot of them. So the overall value, price value for those of you who like to resell might not be that big. Uh, Absolute Carnage Weapon X Plus, number one. We'll see how this one goes. Ghost Rider, I enjoyed number one. Ghost Rider versus Ghost Rider, number two here. I am looking forward to reading this one because I did enjoy the first one. Really cool cover here. Black Cat, number six. Here's a couple of X-Force here, different X-Force covers here. Number one, you saw the connecting cover. Here's one X-Force here, and number two. And then last but not least for Marvel, of course, Immortal Hulk 26 came out. A brand new story arc. Here's this here, and I am definitely looking forward to reading this. I'm going to do some reading tonight. This is probably one of the first ones I am going to read, so there is that. That was it for... Um, Marvel, and now, of course, the big one every week, which is Independence, anything other than Marvel DC. We'll jump right in. Fourth, uh, excuse me, third printing, Spawn 300. Really cool cover right there. I like that. I like the green on it. Again, gimmicky, but it's just a really cool cover. Here is a Capullo cover right here. I believe this is three, 303, yes, 303 Capullo cover. And then 303 McFarlane cover. McFarlane's getting back into doing some more covers on different storylines, and you're always going to pick those up because it's McFarlane. So he always does great covers. Uh, one of my picks for Book of the Week 
which I stated on the video I did on Tuesday for the uh, pre-releases, is from Image, and it's Undiscovered Country number one. This was cover A. Cover B. Definitely looking forward to reading this one here. And this sold really well as well. Uh, we also talked about the fact that, you know, in the 70s, I was a huge Kiss fan and Kiss Zombies came out. So I picked up uh, a couple of uh, Kiss books. Here's number one I picked up. And number two, because this reminded me of an old Spider-Man cover. Uh, I just love that Gene Simmons coming out of the grave. And then there was a third one. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, it was a zombie version of the Kiss Destroyer album with the four members in a row. And I thought I had grabbed that one, but obviously I didn't. So uh, it's here in the house, but so I didn't get that one to show. So there was that. Uh, Dead Eyes, number two. Talked about this as a cover purchase. Mystere, number one. Coffin Bound, number four. The Vengeance of Vampirella storyline. Again, these have been some, some really, really nice covers on this. This week is no difference. Here is one cover, cover two. They also had, I think it was a one in ten pencil version of that, but I didn't get that one. And then my favorite of the Vengeance of Vampirella is right there. Uh, Grim Fairy Tale Holiday Special. Again, we, like we stated, these are going to be strictly cover purchases. Uh, here's cover one. The Wicked Looking, looking Snowman I saw that we talked about. And then the best cover of the group this week was this one here. White Widow number three. They had a, a version which was $3.99, which this one was at a $9.99 and a $19.99. I only got the $3.99. There's that right there. Monster Planet, number one. Cool cover there. Strictly cover purchase, Pussycats, number three. We mentioned that in the video. They get these old porn models and they put... It's a cheesy storyline, but the photo covers are usually pretty good, and they have a really good secondary market because people like buying that. Uh, Wretches, number one, from Scout Comics. And Electric Black, number three. Cover A. And then the very much sought-after black and white version. And this is a, not the black and white, excuse me, the glow-in-the-dark. And this is a wraparound glow in the dark. $6.99 price point, but uh, really, really pops up for the glow in the dark. It really comes out really, really nice. And let me see if I have that book here real quick, which I don't know if I do, but we will check up. Ah, I do have it. Here is the Kiss Zombie Destroyer cover right there. Really, really cool cover there. There's that. So those were the books I picked up this week. And then I was able to pick up at one of the shops I go to. Uh, they got a whole, you know, the owner had a bunch of the old uh, Zenoscope uh, collector's edition stuff from you know, conventions and just older issues. And I picked up this one here, which was a Grey Gland, the Monster Hunter's Survival Code, number one. This was a Zenoscope, Zenoscope exclusive by Grey Gland. Really, really cool cover right there. Of course, Greg Land is an amazing artist, and Zenoscope is known for sexy ladies, and so this kind of just, you know, rounded out everything right there. So there that was there. So that's what I picked up. Now, uh, I've been getting a great response, like we have stated uh, on Tuesday. Oh, I had another viewer, uh, question from a viewer about what my receipts look like when I go to a comic book store. This was my receipt from one of my shops on Wednesday. That is my receipt from Wednesday. As you can see, that's all it is, is comic books. So yes, um, I spend a decent amount of money every week, and that's just one of two shops that I go to uh, in order to put books away for future uh, inventory and then some of the books that I enjoy uh, you know, reading. So 
there was, I hope that answers your question. Very long receipt, probably longer than most people, uh, but that's just how it is. I do enjoy picking up my books every Wednesday. Well, I don't get to pick them up on Wednesdays anymore, usually, uh, you know, Friday, Saturday uh, with my new work schedule. So uh, there was that. So um, again, I did these, I'm doing these new videos on Tuesday. I seem to be getting a very good uh, reply and a good feedback on it. So I am going to continue doing those. And basically what it is, is it's just a video of books that are coming out on Wednesday that I think are going to be good books. Um, I, I kind of pride myself on, you know, picking up proper books or getting books that maybe some of you or some viewers may not, you know, have on their, on their, uh, you know, radar and they go to the new comic book day. Uh, but again, uh, I got a lot of responses from viewers were saying, Hey, you know what? I appreciate the videos because I have found books that you told me about that I never would have purchased that I really, really enjoy. So there was that. So again, really, really big week for books. And I, you know, like I said, I'm in the position where I'm able to do that, but you know, not everybody is. So I hope that, you know, you enjoy me showing the books that I picked up every week and just kind of gives you an idea of what came out or what maybe you can go back and pick some up on uh, if you didn't have an opportunity to get them uh, every week. So again, I appreciate all the viewer support. I appreciate all the positive comments. Uh, if you enjoy the video and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. If you know somebody who might like to subscribe to the video, uh, let them know about it. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. So uh, that's all we have now. I will see you on Tuesday with another uh, pick of the week video. So I hope you like the video. But as always, if you didn't, nothing I can do for you. Have a great, great day and I'll see you on Tuesday.